writing task is to write a referral letter to the charge nurse of rehabilitation ward at Cameron Hospital requesting a bed for Mr. Warren Cash who is admitted in Campbelltown Hospital and was diagnosed with chronic inflammatory demilating polyneuritis affecting the left leg after his discharge. Let us look into the case note first. The name and age of the patient are important and should be mentioned in the reference part of the letter. The diagnosis is important and should be mentioned in the letter. You should mention about CIPD, diabetes, hypertension and hyperlipidemia but more important should be given to CIPD. Coming to the social and medical background, almost all the information provided here are important. But while framing the letter, you should take special care in picking out only the relevant points and framing it in an organized manner. This part is the most important one in the case note along with the discharge plan. Therefore, you should give more importance to these parts of the case note and should be emphasized while framing the letter. The nursing management and progress part is important too, but the former parts carry more weightage than the letter one. Taking all these points, we have to prepare a letter in an organized manner. Now let us see how we can write a letter with the help of a sample letter written by a candidate from UK. The address and date written are correct, but the format of the date is wrong. Here you should write the date as 25 February, 2020. The salutation written is correct, but the candidate missed a comma after the name. The reference return is perfect. Moving to the introduction paragraph, I am writing to refer Mr. Cash into your care for rehabilitation and ongoing care, which is all right, but the introduction misses the condition of the patient, which is a big mistake. Moving to the second and third paragraphs, Mr. Cash was admitted on 15 8, 2012 and discharged on 31 8, 2012. During his hospital days into our care, he was discharged with CIDP, which is affecting his left leg. Severe pain in back and left leg, numbness and weakness of his left leg required further treatment and rehabilitation. Mr. Cash has had a history of type 2 diabetes, hypertension and hyperlipidemia. His diabetes is being treated with medication but he has poor compliance with diabetic diet. His hypertension is currently stable with occasional relapses. Here these two paragraphs are totally, shat totally shattered and poorly organized. The information are scattered all over, all over the place without any proper connection. The second paragraph can be organized in such a way that Mr. Cash was diagnosed with chronic inflammatory demilinating polyneuritis which caused severe pain, weakness and numbness on his left leg. He has type 2 diabetes, hypertension and hyperlipidemia. And the third paragraph can be written as at present, Mr. Warren Cash's hypertension is stable, but he occasionally relapses. He is taking metformin to control his diabetes, but has poor compliance with his diabetic diet. So, he was educated about re-diabetes and under observation for blood sugar four times daily. He is receiving daily physiotherapy and as a result, he is now able to walk and climb stairs. The rest of the letter written is just information put all over the place without any proper organization and connection. The fourth paragraph can be written as Mr. Cash is on IV immunoglobulin but you can switch to oral prednisone daily. He is also taking gabapentone, oxycontin and vitamin B complex. The social background paragraph can be framed as Mr. Cash is married and his family is in Thailand. Currently, he lives alone in Australia, but he wished to go back to the island as there is no one here to accompany him after his discharge. The last paragraph can be written like, It would be highly appreciated if you could educate him to monitor blood glucose levels and chart them. Please arrange monthly IV medication if he would stay in Australia. Oral prednisone long is recommended on daily sliding scale after switching from 50 mg. After discharge, 150 mg is Imuran is prescribed once a day. Coming to the wind-up sentence, you have to mention the name of the patient along with the sentence. Then it becomes, please do not hesitate to contact me with any queries regarding Mr. Cash. In the sign-off, the candidate has missed a comma after you are sincerely. Charge nurse written is correct. Taking all these factors into account, this letter will not score more than 150. Thank you. New method for OET learning. How are you preparing? Online or offline? In speaking and writing, you can get tutor reviews. 
How will you be able to manage your reading and listening? How can you manage your self-practice easier than never before? Learn OET in Merlin's Way, most successful OET learning method from world's best online trainer. Chat now, mentormerlinexam.com.